<laughs> yeah. You think I'm crazy? Yeah. Are you calling me crazy? You think I'm crazy? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, you want to see crazy? I'll tell you. <laughs> Okay, what? What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another special movie reaction and commentary. Today, we're going to be hopping into Lethal Weapon for the very first time. We got Mel Gibson and Danny Glover in this, and I'm excited to see what these two can do in this film. Now, Lethal Weapon was brought up to me multiple times right after the Die Hard one, and I got to say, shout out to all y'all who gave love on the Die Hard one. That was such a great time. So I'm really excited to kind of jump into Lethal Weapon and just seeing how these 1980s, 1990s action films have just been transformed over just the years it was just like for some reason just seeing all the films from the past month or two like you know robocop and uh, die hard and you know now lethal weapon and i'm forgetting a bunch of other ones that we've watched but we've seen them there seems to be such a really great um uh, 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 synchronicity that is between all these films when it comes to presenting a very high quality action film you know and a lot of that is thanks to the the people that work on these films that make sure that you know safe, safety is important because they are doing a lot of practical effects you know there's not a lot of CGI and if any then it's very uh, scarce and it's probably used for you know when they do like smaller model uh, configurations of a set but you know the 80s and 90s action films from what I again again I personally seen have just this incredible raw uh, just just formula to them and magic about them that allows these actors to really go far and beyond and bring out you know these extra layers to these characters who a lot of you guys are very close with now you know like again bruce willis and die hard he was able to bring forth a different layer and texture to a character that you know is technically a hero but it was done so in a way with so much flavor and rawness and uh, it was just different and it flowed different and it felt different it was great and it was such an awesome experience and that was also felt with robocop as well too so you know, seeing this trend of breaking down the main character, but still giving forth an entertaining value is awesome. So I'm excited to kind of jump into Lethal Weapon to see what they got to offer as well. Um, as always, guys, if you want to be able to support me, the best way to do that is through Patreon. We got all the good stuff over there. I'm not going to go over all that, but if you guys want to, you are more than welcome to. Um, in case you don't want to, you can still support the boy, the channel, the homie. Um, and the community by leaving a like, comment, and subscribe. And at the very least, I want you to be able to just like enjoy yourself. Maybe you just got back after a long day. You know, holidays are around the corner. So just take all the goodness you can get, you know, and just feel that Christmas spirit as we hop right into Lethal Weapon. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, that. Why? What? <laughs> oh, no. Yeah, that's definitely a way to start off your film. The hell was in that cocaine, man? Are you kidding me? I really love that scene. What the hell? <laughs> that was that was really nice. All right, soundtrack. That was dope. L.A. Crime. All right, <laughs> yo. Y'all hear this soundtrack? I don't know if I'll be able to play it, but you guys probably seen this movie a billion times. You guys know what's playing. That is definitely a L.A. detective late night grime vibe right there. I love that. I'm not gonna lie to you, man. You kind of live in like a like like a like a slouch, man. What's going on, man? What's happening? Speak to me, buddy. What's up? She's upstairs. Oh, okay. Close that door. Good morning. Good morning. Hey, that's my bacon. Oh, it's mine now. Hey, don't you close doors around here? That's what I'm saying. Yo, for yo, y'all hear me? <laughs> I was like, yo, close that door, man. <laughs> my mom, I just heard my mom in the back of my head. Baby. Nick and the kids left without me. He left without you. Come on. Man, he's doing good for himself. This is nice. This is really nice.
Also, a little a little side note. I'm probably going to leave this one in the full length, but it's just nice to see just like a black family, just like a just like a normal family that just is black, you know? A Age 22, prostitute. Let's see, one arrest, no convictions. Wait, that last name, that sound Yeah, that's the name that just called him. Parents. Michael and Claire. Claire. You know him. Oh, damn. Oh, wow. That's a crazy coincidence then. Jeez, that's unfortunate. 495, Forget it, you dumb shit. 100,000. 100,000 dollars. <laughs> that's hilarious. I, is he a cop too or something? Yeah, he's definitely a cop or something. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You think I'm crazy? Yeah. Are you calling me crazy? crazy? You think yeah. I'm crazy? Yeah, yeah. yeah you want to see crazy? I'll tell you. <laughs> Okay, what? That is so fire. <laughs> Dude, Mel Gibson, I already love him. <laughs> already love him in this. I already love him. <laughs> already love him in this. That was dope. That was fire. They rolled out on that one. <laughs> He's just screaming, shoot him. Shoot him. <laughs> Oh, yo. Oh, he's just, he's like, he's crazy, crazy. Damn, man. That was a, that was excellent. That was a great sequence. What? <laughs> that was dope. And like, it's genuine comedy, bro. Like, it's not forced. It just fits with the character and the scene for what the scene allows the comedy to flow in. I don't know. I feel like sometimes nowadays, action comedies, they just force the comedy outside of the scene like it, it's just i don't know mm. oh yeah yeah he's definitely he's down he's down bad <clears throat> he's down bad he's going through some suicidal thoughts right now which is a scary place to be in so Yeah, man. Damn. That was... Jeez, that was painful, man. Holy crap. That was so well... Like, I don't even want to call that acted. That just was so well done. You know? Like, that was well done. Oh, man. That's real. That's real shit right there. That's like... I never... Wow, that was really... That was really good. You can sense the pain that he is now deciding to live with instead of like taking it away from himself no there are no absolutes in life end of, of discussion not. it can't we're gonna be wait end. we can't and then wait if he sir. offs himself then we'll know i was wrong you're making a mistake holy crap man that is so wild that is so wild shout out to this girl for like you know really trying to bring forth mental awareness Asshole. because damn <laughs> especially in a law enforcement place like sensitive people they show the emotions around women the complexities of that i'm excited to see how they tackle this gun gun raj woo <laughs> a start to any good <laughs> partner i love it this is great i'm so happy y'all met each other like that <laughs> I love both of these characters, so I'm pretty sure I'm going to love these two together. I mean, that's what it is. Hate them back. It works for me. Some good lines. Some good lines. Already, we're, we're into some really good territory with these two. Oh, hey, man. Mr. Joshua, your left arm, please. What is going on here? What on earth is going on here? Have Indo look at that, Mr. Joshua. Yes, sir. He looks young as hell in this. That's hilarious. But that was a wild demonstration. <laughs> oh, my God. Just say you can't feel pain, man. <laughs> you ain't got to burn yourself, dude. <laughs> Even if she hadn't jumped, she'd still be dead. 
She Whoa. Was murdered. Murdered. Oh, snap. Well, that changes everything. <laughs> that changes everything for sure. Babes, and I, I thought maybe you could, you could just get her out and help her. You shifting the blame on him? Hold up. Oh, I get I, I get that you feel bad, but hold up now. Don't you put that burden on him? That's a heavy one. I don't know. All units to seven eight twenty one, possible jumper at the corner of Santa Monica and Orlando. Seven eight twenty one, handle code two. All you, you see the family looking at them? There was totally like a family that was just looking at them. Why are they still looking at him? I can see him through the blur. That's hilarious. <laughs> Who are you? Riggs, homicide. Yes, sir. He's right over there in the air. All right, let's see how he handles this this uh this instance where this guy's literally about to kill himself. This should be a very interesting scene right here. You know, you're you're not the first guy to think of this, you know. Uh, a lot of people have got problems, especially during the silly season like now. <laughs> especially during the silly season. <laughs> He's getting closer to him. He's working his magic. He's doing something. I promise I'll just talk to you. Okay. Okay, all right. Here, you want a want a cigarette? Come on, let's smoke, okay? God, I love that this is like, you know, really building us this really good organic connection with these characters, man. It's just so good. It's really good. See this key? Bye-bye. Nah. <laughs> I mean, like, I think he doesn't mean it because of what we saw earlier when he, it was a very serious moment, but he's obviously, like, he's perfect for this. I know that dude probably won't ever do that again. Oh, my God. Get in here! Oh, damn, he's mad as hell. God. Oh, he's mad. Right. Damn. Every single day I wake up and I think of a reason not to do it every single day. And you know what? We got a chance to look at that, too. That is, wow. I'm so happy that they're giving these characters this much space, man. Through your, your ear, not kill you. Yeah, under the chin. Yeah, 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 under the chin. <laughs> These guys are crazy. <laughs> These guys are crazy and they're meant for each other. I'm hungry. Mm. I'm going to go and get something to eat. Wow. Wow. Yo. Even though this does have, like, obviously that film uh, uh, exaggeration towards it, that was brilliantly done. I feel like they gave his issue his 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 internal problem a good a, a genuine they, that was very genuine despite it being like very like a lot it was very genuinely handled you know genuinely handled oh well i have you know happy birthday for yesterday i'm sincere, sincerely happy birthday man <laughs> Oh man, I I love it. I love it. That was good. <laughs> He's like, nah, man, for real. Like, happy birthday, man. <laughs> if it's your birthday today, happy birthday, for real. How about I open a window? Will I make you happy? No, that's not the point. You know, I had to watch out for my lungs. You know, I exercise. I take care of myself. <laughs> Yo, that was a good choice. Leaving those last a uh, little bit of dialogue in there. You could tell the filmmakers really, really love the chemistry that was going on set here. Yeah, I think the similar to Die Hard, you know, even though these guys are like cops and, you know, they're definitely above average in terms of physical, you know, things that they can do, <laughs> um, they're internal battles are very human and how they deal with them they don't deal with them like policemen they deal with them like humans so it really does affect how i feel 
and how probably how you guys feel too. Damn! All right, we're getting right back into it. This is a beautiful place to have a shootout. I'll be honest with you. <laughs> no killing, right? Yeah, right. Piece of cake. Now I'm happy. Just freedom is right, and I'll stand over here being happy. <laughs> I stand over here being happy. He did. Yeah. <laughs> oh man god it's great now that i think about it i gotta cosplay is um i have a friend that can probably pull off a mel gibson <laughs> and i could be a danny glover oh god what is she in love with this dude Oh no, stop, 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 stop it. <laughs> I'm so mad. <laughs> yeah, I think the greatest trait that I'm finding out is just the human element that, you know, these films have to them. Because damn, it's just so good, man. It's so good. It really does allow the actors to just kind of just bleed into the character instead of playing the character the one with pits in his face those are dimples those are pits when he smiles i can see through his head the answer is no end of story that is hilarious i've never heard of dimples being called that that is incredible <laughs> yo no <laughs> see you tomorrow Yeah, it's good, man. That's good. That's really good conversation right there. This is a crazy good duo. I'm freaking out at how good this duo is. I can see why you guys love Lethal Weapon. Fucking thin. That's very thin. Yeah. <laughs> what the hell? Thin's my middle name. Yeah, your wife's cooking. I'm not surprised. <laughs> what? <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Dog, dude, I love these two, man. These two are great. All right, baby, come to Rogers. Come on. This film is just gonna be a bunch of like this video is gonna be a bunch of me just saying how much I love these two together. Hey, look at that, will you? Not bad for an old man. Okay, step aside, old man. I love this, man. This is good. This is good. <laughs> <laughs> the little ad libs too that are happening are really well done. Damn, he put a smile on this guy's head, bro. He headshot a smile on him. Yeah, bro, he's good. <laughs> he's nasty. <laughs> Like I said, thin. Probably nothing. Whoa! Oh, yeah, probably nothing, huh? Thin, right? Golly, bro, that was... <laughs> what the hell? That was ginormous, man. Shit. Three Williams 56. We got a fine explosion at 111 to launch. Request Amelie... And that was really cool how the camera followed them and kind of like sat at this low angle. That's really dope. The camera work has been very clever throughout this film as well. I just haven't been saying much about it because I've just been loving these two. <laughs> Mama says police miss you black people. Is it true? Uh, yeah, is it true? <laughs> is that true? Yeah. Oh boy. Have fun with that one, man. Have fun with that one. <laughs> Kids, some um, ice cream. I, I, ice cream. cream. You like ice cream? Yeah. 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 Ice, ice cream. cream. Yeah. Ice cream. <laughs> they were like, not for this film. <laughs> Painted. A uh, uh, tattoo. Tattoo? Uh, like, like Popeye. Like Popeye. A tattoo like Popeye. Oh, not like Popeye. I want to take a second to really appreciate the color of this film. Like, the colorists look. The colors are incredible. Talking about hey, Mike. Keep your hands away from your pocket, okay? Take it easy, man. Fuck easy. 
Yeah, right? Like, the hell are you talking about, man? I'm like, you putting all this blame on me and telling me to... Man, get out of here. All the information I am in this too deep, Roger. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Yo. He pulled up on the... Yo, that was the most g thing I've seen in a good bit. That was insane. Yo, the way he pulled up to the house, that was like on some Hitman 007 type of f vibe. I don't even understand that. That was insane. <laughs> My goodness, bruh. Yo, these guys are just coming out of the woodworks, man. They are just pulling up and just dipping. I don't understand. Oh, Christ. Okay, yeah. hey, 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 right. yeah. But two inches higher, they would have gotten you here. Yeah, yeah, two inches lower. I'd have been a post head over life. Come on, let's yeah. go. <laughs> Yo, the, the lines, man. The lines. The delivery of these lines are lethal. They think I'm dead. I'm a corpse. Mm. Ah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. A bastard's got my daughter. Oh, damn. Oh my god. Oh my god, man. M M Murta. You have a very beautiful daughter. The stakes have gone. The stakes have skyrocketed right now. The stakes have absolutely skyrocketed right about now. We do this my way. You shoot, you shoot to kill. You get as many as you can. All you gotta do is just not miss. Mm. Mm. Yeah. Previously, like I said, the stakes are significantly higher now. And it's crazy how there's this red glow in the room. You know? You may think it's coming from the tree, but that's that is a very uh clever way of painting the scene, I, I would call it. This was an awesome shot. Love that. That was so cool, man. <laughs> Love that the camera just didn't break away from that. All right, man. You got your 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 call to life back in your hands again. Let's see if you're much as a dead eye as you said. He wouldn't risk killing his own daughter. If she's gonna die, she's gonna die with me. My way, not yours. That's pretty OG. That's pretty OG. I agree with that. I'll be honest with you. <laughs> Come on, honey. Come on, honey. Here's a smoker. Bingo. Woo! Good shot, man. Good shot. Get out of there. Stop jumping around. Get out of there. <laughs> Just run. <laughs> Get out of there! <laughs> oh my god! One of those shadow company pussies in Saigon in about 69. You did, did you? I just think it's kind of funny how, like, there's a high speed pursuit. Meanwhile, they're just walking, kind of catching up over, <laughs> over like, Saigon. It's like, damn. Who's the chin? Endo, meet Mr. Martin Riggs. Endo here has forgotten more about dispensing pain than you would. Was he also in Die Hard? I think that dude was in Die Hard as well. Like, I don't know. Like, he looked just like the one one of the henchmen from Die Hard. That's crazy. God damn, man. Ah, god damn, man. Hit him again. Come on, tell me about 
Yo, his his screams are freaking crazy, man. Damn, I'm really feeling it. Damn, everybody is getting tortured right now. Get around. God damn, man. This is this is sick. This is sick. This is really sick, man. This is elevated. I'm, I, I appreciate them for respecting that. This dude is on some ish. I cannot believe he just did that. That was fire. That was fire, man. Spare me, son. It's over. There's no more heroes left in the world. <laughs> Mel Gibson comes barging through the door. <laughs> that was great. Yo. Yo. Did you see how quick he shot him? Oh my god, that was disgusting. I'm happy that they're just like, F police protocol, we are shooting everybody. That's the energy you kind of need, especially if you take a daughter. Get out of here. I'm icing everybody. <laughs> I'm glad that I can share that that internal rage <laughs> with these two. That was good. That was a good that was a good turn, I will say. Even though he's a scumbag, that was a pretty solid turn. Hit that corner like he been it. <laughs> Okay, Mel, let's go. I see you, bro. I see you, bro. Open the door! Yeah, bro. You need to get your revenge. You need to get your revenge. I hope you get it, man, because it's going to taste sweet. No way you live. No way. Woo! Oh, my God. Dude. Cold-blooded, man. I was so fire. If you guys couldn't tell, I'm in it. I'm in it. <laughs> Peace out. Sayonara, brother. I thought it was going to be a little bit bigger of an explosion. You had frag grenades in there, but a deserving death, for sure. Would you like a shot at the title? Don't mind if I do. Man, whoop his ass. I can't see what's happening. I can't see what's happening. <laughs> I can't. I can't see what's happening. It's too shaky, y'all. It's way too shaky. <laughs> Keep everyone back. I will say this sequence is a little awkward. <laughs> just, 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 just a little awkward. Cause I, I, I. <laughs> I thought they were going to like, you know, I can't see anything really, <laughs> but I just know Mel Gibson is probably whooping his ass. Throw hands. I, <laughs> yo, they are, they are whooping each other's asses, man. Come on, let me take him. He said no. He did, he did a he did a Caesar from Planet of the Apes, man. Oh, he's gonna break his ish. Oh God, he almost did it. There we go. Let's see some ground game. All right. Let's see the ground game. Yes. There you go. Some jujitsu, man. No 
yeah. He was about to do a public execution, bro. <laughs> he was he was about to do a public execution. Dude, the whole town was watching this. <laughs> he was going to snap his neck on live camera. Get that shit off my line. That was baller. Not going to lie, that was baller. That was baller. When he took it to the ground, that's when it got really dope. Oh, word. They lit him up. Let's go. <laughs> that was cold. You're crazy. <laughs> I'll tell you a little secret. What? I'm not crazy. Hmm. I know. Hey, that's cool, man. That is what I'm talking about. Hey. Yes. I forgot about the dog, man. I forgot he had one. That's dope. That's cool. <laughs> That's what's up, man. Guys, I believe that is the end to Lethal Weapon. All right, guys, we just got done wrapping up Lethal Weapon. This was such a magnificent trip for me. Like, I... I love the chemistry between these two. I didn't know of this chemistry until now. And a lot of y'all probably like, what the hell? What do you mean by that? Like, yeah, I've seen these two before. Duh. I've seen them everywhere, just on the internet, through memes or whatever the heck. But I haven't seen why the chemistry is really good. And it's really freaking cool to be able to, you know, see these two just in action, but not even primarily on like the the bigger moments of the film, even like the little moments of the film, just like casually them talking, them doing their ad libs, you know, a scene of them going to the gun range and shooting it. Like those moments are what really stand out to me when now I think of Lethal Weapon, right? It's just this camaraderie and this love for one another that are just, you know, two different people, but they have, you know, their own sort of problems that they're working out and it's just really dope to see how they were able to kind of just be together and fight freaking crime together man that shit was dope what can i say like honestly it was really cool and i really loved the uh the the, the camera work throughout this film uh a little bit a, uh, it got a little messy i'm not gonna lie towards the end though with the with the with the whole fight sequence i personally feel like they probably could have done that with another route like maybe mel gibson's character could have just like had that scrap with the dude when he was chasing after him um but yeah that that last sequence even though it was a little awkward considering the stakes that were made prior it did have some form of entertainment to it so yeah it was really cool watching them fight and duke it out and then like you know that cool ass shot with them just both like getting their pistols and shooting them down i think that was really dope i know there's more lethal weapons i believe right so if you guys want me to check that out i definitely would love to but like always guys happy holidays and <laughs> stay healthy and stay hydrated because we are just getting started purple jacket pocket full of weed Everything that I should ever need Grab some matches cause they give them free Just like my time Hair pulled back in the backseat